Yay, Block. we're not dead. <laughs> Ow. Not dead today. <laughs> anyway. Yep. So, got the gang back together, and we're going to be reviewing Sabres Part 2. Woohoo! Yay! Let's go! Uh, uh, there is something I do want to correct myself, though. I did make an oops last episode. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, I remember Dashi <laughs> asked me about us. Altera's skill, if her Noble Phantasm was either sil single target or party. I screwed up. It was actually party-wide, so yeah. Ton of a bitch. <laughs> Um, but yeah, besides that, besides that, um, I'm pretty sure I did everything else right. <laughs> Meanwhile, let's get started. I will be happy to inform that there will be no Guild Array in this, in this batch. Uh, awesome, yay! <laughs> with that said, let's get started. Here's Sabres Part 2 with the first Saber. Oh, can I video? Okay. <laughs> so that was Chevalier de Leon. The Dragon. in English? <laughs> That's. Actually, like a musketeer? It's French. <laughs> yeah, it's French. That's. I, I knew. I name. knew it was French. I knew it was French. But what did that mean in English? That's their name. <laughs> I, I don't think names really have a meaning most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> my name means God is my judge, so it has to have a meaning. I know. Well, yeah, oh, well, Chevalier Dion. So. This is a four-star saber with a total attack of 8,765, with a total oh. HP of 13,256. When okay. it comes to hit counts, uh, they have a balanced buster, a uh, balanced deck with quick arts, arts, buster, buster. Quick card hits twice, arts hard, art cards hit twice, buster card hits once, and extra attack hits three times. They have a pretty average normal phantasm game and a pretty heavy star weight. Okay. When it comes to skills, De Leon has Mind's Eye True C, which applies evasion and increases defense for three turns. Self suggestion okay. Self suggestion A removes all debuffs and greatly increases debuff resistance for three turns. And Aspect of Beauty C applies target focus for three turns and greatly restores HP. So oh, it's like a support tank? Mm-hmm. With uh, passives, they have Magic Resistance C, Debuff Resistance plus 15%, and Riding B, which is Quick Heart Effectiveness by 8%. And their Noble Phantasm is Flor de Lis, Glorious Splendor of the Blooming Lilies. It has a chance to inflict charm for one turn, decreases attack, and decreases defense for two turns. It can be upgraded, and the upgrade is the charm increases by 20% more. And lastly, okay. their Bondcraft Essence is the Queen's Present, which, when equipped, increases our card effectiveness for all allies by 15%. Is that a lot or not? That's a hefty sum. Hmm. Fun fact, this is my first 4-star. <laughs> oh, wow. The fucker MP3'd, and I don't even touch him. <laughs> He's useless wow. to me. I mean, the one has a kind of a good has a decent niche as a sort of support tank. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't get a lot of tanks with the Saber class, so, you know. The only support you need are casters. <laughs> I mean, casters aren't that tanky, let's be honest here. Although, yeah, to be fair, if you want a tank, just use base level fucking mash, but still. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, I mean, it's beside the, the game even gets it to you, so, you know. Yep. Also, funny thing about Deon is one of their Noel Phantasms, because that's a thing Fate likes to do. They like to give multiple Noel Phantasms to servants. Uh, one of them is the ability to be whatever they you want them to be. What? So he's not just a man. Yep. Fuck. Deon can be either man or female. Pretty, male or female, pretty much depending on what you need them to be at the time. Why would you need it to be man or female? <laughs> Well, because Deon's lore is all about being 
Dale's kind of like a French ninja, to be honest. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that like, makes sense, well, then. Yeah, hmm. their entire backstory was about, like, them doing espionage work for the Queen. Uh... Yeah. And that a lot of times involved them dressing up as females. It's debated whether or not Dayon was actually male or female, or there were actually two Dayons. One female, one male. It's one of those pretty interesting aspects of history, where it's like, what exactly is going on with this character? <laughs> so that's why they made it this way? Yep. Okay. That, that actually makes sense, and I accept it. Like other ones, I know which I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, but I do believe Dayon is classified as genderless in FGL. Uh, I think classified as other. Other or genderless, one of those two. Just like Astolfo, yeah. other. Well, shit, it's other. Alright, well, with that said, how about you guys give it a star ratings? So, I guess, like, last time, um, we'll go with Universe. Okay. Um... Well, first off, because I'm not, I'm still new to all this, is everything that you mentioned about his stats and everything, is that considered good in your opinion? It really depends, but if you need, like, like, if you need sort of a tank, they do a pretty decent mm -hmm. job. Okay, then I'll say a 3.5 because a little extra bonus for the outfit. <laughs> I like the colors. Hmm. I wonder how she'll feel about his third ascension, but alright. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> all right, Gonza, go ahead. Uh, I I also like the outfit. I didn't like the attack too much. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, I'll give it like a two point. Okay. Picky, picky, I swear. All right, Dashy. What I what I like to be generous. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I have so many of this guy, and I don't even use him. I'll give him like a two. Wow. Because. <laughs> I have a lot of better supports, and you don't need to be tanky when you just kill the enemy first. <laughs> I guess that's fair. I'll give Dayon three stars, because uh, I'm a little biased. Again, it was my first four star. <laughs> but then, as soon as I got... as soon as, I'm not even kidding. As soon as I got Kiyohime, I replaced him with her, so... <laughs> <laughs> as you should. Yeah. Dayon's pretty decent. Pretty an interesting unit. I did love... Uh, his story, their story relevance in that one chapter during part point five. <laughs> yeah, with the one with the Amazons and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was kind of fun. Also, oh, if you ever dude. wanted to see Dayon in a maid dress, just look at that chapter. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you guys aren't sick of saber faces yet. Yes. Oh wow. That looked impressive. She just pulled and you're already dead. <laughs> and that F she is you. Okita Soji. Five star saber. Uh and before Gonzak asks, yes, this is a saber face that's gender bent. Oh. I mean, again, like, how many pretty much aren't gender bent? <laughs> By right. this point. So, Okito yeah. Soji has a total attack of 12,068 with an HP of 13,225. They have a okay. quick. They actually have a quick heavy deck with quick, quick arts buster buster. Uh, quick card hits five times, art card. Bard's card hit twice, Buster card hits one time, and their extra attack hits three times. They actually have a, an above average Noble Phantasm game, but they actually have a below average Star Weight. Hmm. When it comes to skills, their first skill is Sukukuchi B. Increases uh, Quick Card effectiveness for one turn, Weak Constitution A, which greatly increases their Star Gather Rate, and Mind's Eye Fake A. Implies Evade for one turn and increases their Critical Strength for three turns. The passives, they got Magic Resistance E and Writing E. And the Noble Phantasm is Mumui Sandan Zuki. Ariana Cries. <laughs> and by Ariana Cries, <laughs> I mean uh, Avidia Three Stage Thrust. It deals significant 
damage to a single target that ignores defense and greatly decreases their defense after the attack. And lastly, their Bondcraft is Headband of the Resolve, which when equipped increases critical strength of all allies by 25% while she's on the field. So I mean, how good is she? Uh, she's actually pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> she's great. Yeah. She's like... When did when did she come out? Uh, she's roughly a first year Saber, actually. She came out during the first Gouda Gouda event. Uh, and she's been pretty top tier since. Like, the only upgrade she's had so far has just been an animation update. And that's only for her basic attacks, really. Huh. And don't uh, forget, she's immunocompromised as hell. Yeah. <laughs> And not to mention that she's also the first uh, extremely heavy quick base. Uh, besides that, Okada, Oka, uh, Oka, uh, yeah, she's actually pretty good. <laughs> I mean, there's the skills that give you like evade for a turn and increase your critical strength. Those are like the best evades. Yeah, true. I mean, that's her whole deal. Her skill sets are just for her to do, like, one big attack on a boss. I mean, essentially. She's a boss killer, really. More than anything. So, explosions? Yeah, explosions. <laughs> explosions! Yeah, I mean, any serving with, like, a quick noble phantasm when Scotty comes out, they're just oh, that geez, much better. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, when Scotty comes out, that's gonna be quite a game changer. Although, with the way we're, our schedule is going, apparently, from what I understand, we might actually skip the rerun for last year's summer event. Shit. Yeah. Really? What, what? the hell? It's because we have a very funky spe schedule due to time, so we have to oh, get we have to get Scotty on time. That's the thing. Well, rip people getting summer Ishtar because they didn't get it last year. <laughs> Who knows? Man, we'll see what happens. But yeah. Uh, besides it's that, guys, like, Okita Soji, honestly, is actually one of my top favorite, uh, sabers. She's strong, and her character is actually pretty funny. Like, she's trying to be super serious, but because of her weak constitution, which, yeah, that's what the skill references, she just constantly coughs up blood, so. <laughs> Goodness. It's okay, she's fine. I mean, she tries to sell you things in the shop, and then you buy something, and then she's like, oh my god, thank you, and then she just coughs up a lung. What? Yeah. That's the joke? <laughs> that's She has a very weak constitution. I think that's a reference to the actual Okita Soji. I think um, in history they were actually very... <laughs> they, they were very, like, unhealthy. Even though they were masterful swordsmen for the... Um, uh, th that group that we're part of. I can't remember the name off the top of The Shinsengumi or yeah, some the shit? Yeah, the Shinsengumi, something like that, yeah. So, with that said... Uh, go ahead. I guess you guys can start rating her. I will say... 4.3. Okay. Just because I can't choose between 4 and 4.5. <laughs> hmm. I'll pick 4. I actually like the design. Like, Mona Fine Eyes and the Katana Look Nice. She has a good stance. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dashi? I'll go with four, because she actually looks good, and she's actually useful. <laughs> which, pretty much so far, has either been one or the other. Yeah, true. Yeah, I'll go with four as well. Uh, I really wish that she had at least one skill that may lasted more than one turn. Which is the reason why I'm not giving her complete five stars. But she's still pretty good, and that's actually pretty impressive for her first year servant, to be honest. <laughs> like, she's yep. still relevant, even to this day. Yeah, a lot of quick focus servants are just one turn on their skills. Yeah. But then again, like, but then again, all that's gonna get fixed with Scotty coming along. Yeah, because you only need the one turn. Yeah. Wow. So, so you're kind of like me, where you're kind of in the middle between four and five. Not really. Oh. Like I said, if she just had a, if she just had a one skill that, like, if her quick skill lasted at least a, three turns instead of one, I would have given her an instant five. But four is good. Ah, gotcha. All right. Don't worry, this one is not a saber face this time. <laughs> but is it good? We'll see. Oh 
take care of your kid. Take care of your teeth, kids, because if not, that's what happens when you go to the dentist. I, I gotta ask. Apparently. It's not a fucking sword. That's like a spear. No, that's the sword. Bullshit in it. <laughs> but it looks like. But it looks like a drill. <laughs> Speaking of, that character is actually Fergus McRoy, also known as Cuckoo Lane's best bro. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh, <laughs> Fergus is a three-star saber. He is, has a max of 7,460 attack and HP of 9,786. He actually has a very heavy buster deck. He has a quick, art, buster, buster, buster. Two hits on quick, two hits on art, one hit on buster, and three hits on extra. He actually has some pretty good Noble Phantasm games, surprisingly. Although he has some pretty below average star weight. Uh, his skills are Valor, A, increases his attack strength for 3 turns, and increases his mental debuff resistance for 3 turns. Defiant B, increases his defense for 3 turns, but decreases his attack debuff success rate for 3 turns. And his Mind's Eye True, which applies Evade and increases defense for 3 turns. He's got Magic Resistance B and Riding B. His noble phantasm is Calabog, the Rainbow Sword. Deals heavy attack, deals heavy damage to all enemies, decreases defense, and decreases debuff resistance. It actually has an area loot uh, upgrade, which increases his damage output. And his Bondcraft is Surge of the Warrior. When equipped to Fergus, increases Buster card effectiveness for all allies by 10%, and noble phantasm strength by 10% while he's on the screen, while he's on the field. Yeah, Fergus is weird. They try to make him like a berserker, even though he's a saber. It's really weird. I mean, it's like you have to roll for a reason, and you don't use. Yeah, that, that's not the main thing about him, though. It's kind of how he tries to sleep with every single fucking woman in Chaldea. <laughs> so it's like Zeus, but well, I guess Zeus is worse still. Hmm. Well, the thing is, Zeus... Hmm. How do I put this lightly? Zeus doesn't ask for consent. Uh, Fergus does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go the angle that Zeus fucks anything. And also anything. that. But no, Fer Fergus actually has... He has limitations, okay? He has, he, if it's a woman, <laughs> it's fine, but... Anything okay. beyond that, no. Out of strike zone. <laughs> He's sort of, he, he's a gentleman, in a sense. Except when he tries to actually, you know. <laughs> okay. Apparently, according to his lore, it got, like, his drive got so bad that, uh, he had to marry the Queen of Fairies just to settle, uh, just to calm it down. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yep. Apparently, a mythological creature is the only one that can satisfy this guy's drive. <laughs> oh my. God damn. <laughs> Uh, but besides that, in terms of gameplay, like, Fergus is actually a decent AoE saber. Um, yeah, honestly, he's actually, he is pretty decent. I'd say, in terms of AoE, he's probably even better than Arcturia. <laughs> Just because you can get so many copies of him, so his damage output would actually be a lot more stronger than Arcturia's. But besides that, he's really just big damage, doesn't really have much else to him. Also, be careful with his Defiant uh, skill, because if you use it and then you try to use Valor, there's a very high chance that Valor isn't going to activate because of that stupid demerit. Uh, but wow. besides that, uh, Fergus is pretty much straightforward. Just beat down everything in front of him. That, I, I, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> Unless you guys have anything else. Uh... No, I mean... not really. Eh. He has two blasts? <laughs> is it weird that he kind of reminds me of Brock? Also, I didn't. I mean, really his eyes are always that. closed. <laughs> so, like, he drills to the ground, and then fucking rainbows come out of other places. What the fuck? Yeah. Sure. Get <laughs> those words. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> that's just that's just how it works. All right, I guess we can get to start rating. <laughs> Uh, Yuna. Oh, she's, she seems dead. She's, uh, yeah, kind of muted. I think Yuna's kind of dead right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought, uh, I, I thought she was running away from Fergus. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, no, no, no. understandable. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'll do three. Three stars. Wow. Hold. Oh. Got generous. Yeah. I think I, it's the scars I, on his chest. Yeah. No, just just because he's the um, uh, that actually are decent. I mean, I would have given him a five if it wasn't for the but oh well. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Gonzac, go ahead. Uh, I'll give it a three. Like, eh? I'll give it a three. Like, I, I really don't have much of a strong opinion on this, but he looks like Frog, I guess. That's pretty, eh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dash. I'll give him a two. Mainly because, like, triple busters do not last long. They're only good for, like, early game. And not to mention, God, it just... He's such a playboy. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of why I also did. Um, hmm. I don't know. He's like he's not he's not horrible. I just don't know. Hmm. I'll give him a three because it reminds me of Brock. <laughs> wow. Just give him a frying pan. Yeah, just give him a frying pan instead of a spiral sword. There you go. <laughs> Damn jelly-filled donut. <laughs> I mean, what better way to defeat your opponent, right? Alright, All right, so, um, let's have the saber faces keep coming. Yeah! So, <laughs> this one's actually a double dip because this is Mordred, King Arthur's son? Arthur's son. <laughs> so, main female saver's son. Yeah. But she's the dad. Yeah. Right? Yes. I hate it. And Mordred is a woman, but again, Arthur's son. Mordred, yeah. Mordred is a woman. Why? Why? <laughs> so, I don't, I don't want to know. No, no, no. Remember, don't gender worry, bend. Don't, don't, don't worry, I feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> not to mention who the mother is. I'm going to just move on. That's not. <laughs> oh, Alright, so Mordred. Mordred has an attack power no, 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 of 11,723. No, 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 Sid. Totally. Sid, no. What? What? You what? Tell, what? You, what? You mentioned it. Now you got to tell us. You got to tell what? us now. You mentioned it. Mordred, no, we don't. Mordred's look into history is, books. Yeah, it's not Look at hard. history books. Just look at King, just King Google Arthur it. more. Yeah. Yeah. The fuck? This is like Don't a question it. Or something? Fine, yeah. go ahead, keep going. What? <laughs> oh my god, his mom is also his aunt. There. Okay, thank you. Wasn't it so hard? Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I mean... More just attack. Oh. More attack is 11,723. HP is 14,680. She has a Buster Balance deck, Quick Arts Arts Buster Buster, with two hits on Quick, three hits on Arts, one hit on Buster, and four hits on Extra. She has a below average Noble Phantasm game and an average Star Weight. She has Mana Burst A, which increases her bus card effectiveness for one turn, Intuition B, which gains critical stars, and Sec Secret of Pedigree EX. It removes all debuffs, greatly increases her defense for one turn, and also gives her MP. And if I remember correctly, because the page I'm looking at doesn't say this, yeah, she also just recently got an upgrade for her intuition, which is now Scarlet Lion B+. Uh, she gains a large amount of crit stars, her, increases her Buster Card's star weight, and also increases her critical damage. Her passes are Magic Resistance B and Riding B. And her normal phantasm is Clarent Blood Arthur, Rebellion Against My Beautiful Father. Deals heavy damage- Huh? Yeah, that's that's the her meaning beautiful behind, father. Yeah, that's the meaning behind the Noel Phantasm name. What the fuck? Anyways, it deals heavy damage to all enemies. It also deals additional damage to any characters that are Arthur based, and also increases her MP guides by a little bit. It has an interlude uh, power up, which increases the damage output. And lastly, her Bondcraft, which is who am I? When equipped to Mordred, increases the MP strength of all allies by twenty percent while she's on the field. 
the one question we all ask ourselves. <laughs> you get asked it when your mother is actually your father. And your mom is also that Dude, I mean, mother, father, sister. Your father is your mother, and your mother is your aunt, but your mother isn't your mother, and your mother Princess, isn't your father. The the whole family can play. <laughs> Sweet <laughs> home awesome. Alabama. <laughs> well, it's not just incest. It's incest with gender been too. Yeah. That so it's is, like your mother is your father, but your mother isn't your mother, and your mother isn't your father. You know. And, yeah. The, you know the, di the the deeper we dig this well, the the harder it's gonna get for us to come out of it. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. So what is really good? Like she's really good AOE. She's actually better than Ar Arturia, per virtually in every way. <laughs> I mean, especially once that uh, buff comes into her intuition. Yep. Because, uh, fun fact, intuition sucks. <laughs> Highly. Oh, boy, does intuition suck. Thank God they're changing that. But yeah, uh, besides that, um, yeah, Mordred's good. Use her if you want to. Great AoE. Uh, she's also a decent boss killer, and she has the means to survive some hits because she has really high HP and a great skill that increases her defense. She's good. Get her before the Trefus costume comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, any opinion, guys? Because if not, we're going to go straight into star rankings. My star Lord, rankings are practically I opinions. <laughs> I hate the lore so much of this. <laughs> Kidding. Don't uh, worry, you're not uh, the first. <laughs> Seriously. No, I like the last. armor. It's a nice armor. Yeah. It actually has so, a cool thing where the little horns on the side of her head is actually a part of her helmet piece, and oh, sweet. it's it's actually kind of cool because like it like detaches itself onto and then like connects itself to the armor. It's sort of like Iron Man's helmet. <laughs> the armor is actually like meant for killing her father too. Yeah, the armor is also no phantasm because it's meant to hide her identity. She hates her mother, father. Oh, she wants to oh. kill King Arthur so damn bad. Yeah. Why? Like uh, everything she does no, 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 is no, no, either no, no, to no, piss off her dad or kill him. Yeah. Or I try to gain his <laughs> attention. He's already, he's already killed me. <laughs> I regret asking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll go on to star ratings. Now. Yeah, no, go ahead. Just because it's a saber, and we're already getting so many sabers. Three point eight. Well, I mean, this—the whole point right now is sabers. That's the entire point. Yeah, we're only on part two of sabers. <laughs> yeah, out of like maybe four or five. No, no, no don't worry. About it. Then let me rephrase. Too many Arthur's over the edge of this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> don't worry. Even when we're not done with sabers, we won't be done with saber faces. Or Arthur. <laughs> or Arthur. Okay, I'll give it a 3. two 8. to fuck the war. I would give it a one, but I actually like the armor. So. <laughs> okay. All right, Desi. I'll give her a five. Because I oh. I really like her. Like, just how much she tries to piss off her father, but at the same time try to get his attention. And she was, like, my favorite in Apocrypha. I actually quite liked Apocrypha. Yeah. And she's my boyfriend's favorite servant of, like, all time. <laughs> okay, so let me get back to my question. I think it actually applies. Does any of that five-star add in the way that she battles and her stats and anything? Or is that just irrelevant? Oh, she's fun as hell. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> she may not be the best, but she's fun. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to give her four stars. Uh, and the reason being is because, like, she doesn't have her... She doesn't have her skill rank up yet, so. <laughs> the Trefus. Yeah. Yet. And the costume. Yet. As soon as that comes Everyone out, knows, if you have the costume, you gotta use the unit. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yet. There you go, that's Mordred. Every time I tried to fool her, I got Caesar, so I think you all know how pissed off I was. <laughs> oh, no. <Yep. laughs> uh, so, um, you know, you're tired of saber faces, right? I'll get used okay. to them eventually. Good, because we got another one. Alright, I'll get used to it eventually. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get used to it eventually. 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 
<laughs> so hey, it's Nero, Claudius, again. Except this is her. As a bride. Bride variant. Yep. Wow. Uh, uh, so yeah, Nero B Bride. She has a total attack of eleven thousand six hundred seven. Total HP of fourteen thousand two hundred forty-eight. She has a balanced Buster deck with quick arts, arts, Buster, Buster. Her quick card hits three times, or her heart cards hits three times, Buster card hits once, and actual attack hits five times. She has an average eight, uh, MP gain, and above average star weight. She comes with the skills, Stars of the Sky A, increases the MP gain for an ally for three turns, which upgrades into Stars of the Sky EX, which increases the MP gain, and also increases MP. Uh, she has Flowers of the Earth A, increases attack for 3 turns, and increases critical star drop rate for 3 turns, again on an ally, and low for the people. Restores HP and increases defense for 3 turns, targetable to an ally. She has the passes of Magic Resistance C, and Writing B. Her Noble Phantasm is... fuck... Celestis? <laughs> I think that's how it's said. Kylistus. 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 Yeah. Okay. Kylistus. Something like that. Uh, star, Dax Rushing Kylistus. Rose there of Closure. Deal significant uh, damage to a single enemy, inflicting burn for 5 turns, decreases defense for 5 turns, and decreases critical rate for 5 turns. It has a rank up quest which increases its damage output. And lastly, her Bondcraft Essence is Ring of Bay Laurel. Uh, when equipped, increases the art card effectiveness of all allies by 15% while she's on the field. Uh, your bride's really good. <laughs> she is amazing. She has, like, when I didn't have a good saber myself, I would always take a Bridal Nero. <laughs> yeah, like, um, it's actually pretty ridiculous how good she is. One of the main things is, like, she's offensive support, first of all. That's pretty much her main role. So if you want her to be a good offense, uh, pretty much build her that way. If you want her to be good support, you can also do that very well. The reason being is because every single one of her skills is targetable. Meaning that she can pick an ally, give that skill, and it would really benefit them in the fight. Not to mention her noble phantasm does so many demerits on an opponent. It's, it's surprisingly really well done. Yeah, like you're going up against some archers, just slap all of her skills on a lancer. <laughs> yeah. How old is she again? Like, how, uh, she's, she we're still in year one servants, actually. Yeah. Funny enough, I actually got Nero Bride when her banner came out without even trying. <laughs> like, I never, I never looked up how good servants were. I'm just like, eh, I guess I'll try and get them. And then I got her on the bus ride from work, and I'm just like, oh, neat. And then the only I reason I didn't pull for her is because the timing was just horrible. I was already saving up for, like, I don't know, Jolter. Yeah. And she was, like, right around the corner, so it's was like, uh... <laughs> yeah, but Neural Bright is just ridiculously good. And, unfortunately, absurdly rare now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I guess it was limited then? Oh, she was very limited. From what I remember, I think she's... Uh, as far as um, JP is concerned, she only has one other raid up. Wow. That's it. <laughs> and that, that's like a five year game, right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, two year. Yeah, we're just two years behind now. Hey, if it was five years, oh, that'd be. Oof. That'd, that'd be, be something cool. else. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, damn. Neil Bright is just fucking really good. Like, I have nothing One of bad. the nothing, best savers. Yeah, I have nothing bad to say about her, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, well, what do you guys have to say? I definitely like her out, uh, her outfit in this one. Yep. Oh, right now, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right now, but it's only because it's mainly bridal, but I also like how it, the side piece kind of reminds me of Yuna's uh, uh, side piece in... 10 too. Yeah. But no, I actually like how it's um, designed. I like the color uh, mix that they have for her, for her blonde hair, how it matches. Um, 
the stats sound like they're really, really good, and I was impressed by her uh, strike animation, so... Yeah. So, to give a rating, unless if anyone else has something to say... I was about to say, what about Gunzek? <laughs> okay, Gunzek, I really yeah. like, like, the, the special attack. I like, like, the pedal attack. Like, it has a lot of stuff I like about special attack. <laughs> like, the whole pedal thing, but they did it better than with Musketeer Guy. Oh. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, the, like the slow sword movement and then the fucking trust. So, like I really I like. Right? I like the design. I like the attack. I really like this character. Dude, everything she does has to be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Even when she does. Therefore, she is Rome. <laughs> well, she herself is in Rome. She's just a part of Rome. Well. Don't worry. At some point, we'll get to Rome. So. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I guess we'll get started with star rating. Can we all agree? Maybe not. Maybe. Okay, then I guess we'll do it. it. Yeah, I say five. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I say five. I'm very impressed. Yeah, I'm gonna say the same thing. I really like this character. I really like the animation. And apparently she's OP, so that's really nice. Yep. Okay, shit, yeah, I was going to say five, too. <laughs> okay, then we all can agree. So one, two, three, five. Oh, well, see, I, I see a oh, one. And then I add four more. So, yeah. <laughs> a okay. one. I saw it. Trump, that's what I told you. I hate that. Why? 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 why, why? 20 star. Well, 16 star. It's not 20 star yet. <laughs> 20 stars. Okay, 20 star is a bit OP. I'm sorry. Even for even for her standard, that's still. Yeah, a but like high. between the four and plus, it's 20 star. Okay. I, I just love top. how they um. I just love, love how they got an alternate costume from a game we never even freaking got, <laughs> and made it a completely different server. Yeah. Oh jeez. All right. Well, who's ready to meet God? Oh, I don't. God. I don't like where this is going. Which one? There's so many more. Oh! Okay. It's Yuna Warrior Mode! <laughs> Alright, so this is Ryugi Shiki. Saber version. She's a five star saber. And. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> she originally comes from Garden of Sinners. Yep. Which is not fate, but it's made by the same company. And yet it's still relevant in this fate universe. God, yep, goddamn. <laughs> Remember, everything, even if it's not related directly to fate, it's still related to it's fate. It's still fate. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so yeah, Ryugi Shiki. She has a total attack of 10,721, total HP of 15,453. Uh, she has a balanced buster deck with quick, arts, arts, buster, buster. Her quick heart hits four times, arc hearts hits twice, buster hits once, and extra attack hits four times. She has a pretty above average noble phantasm gain rate, and she also has an above average star weight. Her stills are Mystic Eyes of Death Perception C, applies ignore invincibility, increases her own arc card's effectiveness, and decreases the death resistance to all enemies, and all that for one turn. She has Shining Cloud B, which increases her attack for three turns, and increases her mental debuff resistance for three turns. And she has Yin Yang A, which restores her HP at the cost of a percent 10% of her MP gauge. For passives, she has Magic Resistance A, Independent Manifestation C, which increases her critical strength by 6%, death resistance by 6%, and increases her mental debuff resistance by 6%, and she has Connection to the Root A, which increases all of her card types by 6%. When it comes to her Noble Phantasm, uh, Mokushiki Kara no Kyokai, Amalav Janana, Boundary of the Void, it's an Art Noble Phantasm that deals heavy damage to all enemies that ignores defense, chance to inflict death, and removes all debuffs to all allies. And later on it gets an, a rank up quest upgrade, which also increases her, her MP gauge. And lastly, her Bondcraft is True Emptiness, which when crit, increases all art cards for all allies while she's on the field by 15%.
Oh, that was a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. She kills people. Not very well, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what? 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 What's the name of like? Because I I see this type of character a lot. Is that also a face or is it the same character? Uh. <sighs> I thought King Arthur's lore was complicated. Oh god, no. Okay, <laughs> I don't I don't, don't want to know. No. Basically, basically she has eyes that can see lines what? and they're called death lines. If you cut them, they're dead. Yeah. Oh, it's that okay. But that's just yeah. her body, Ryuki Shiki. Cuz her saber form is Yeah, I wasn't kidding. Essentially, she's god from in the Fate universe. <laughs> Okay? It's such a complicated thing that I just don't know how to explain it. Just watch the show. Yeah. Is she, is she the one that has a lot of movies, or is that another character? Uh, Kuro Kyokai has a few movies, I think. Like, they don't- like, all the animated adaptations are just movies. Uh -huh. uh, besides that, it's just a light novel series. Uh, but talking about Shiki herself, like, um, she's interesting. She's kind of tankish, and she's all about trying to deal instant death. But with all of her passives and her attack, she can actually deal some decent attack, and she has some interesting recovery because her Null Phantasm recovers all debuffs. It, I, but I can't really call her a support because she doesn't really have support skills. And so like that guess, one anti anti debuff. I guess. It's like she's trying to be a jack of all trades. I mean, that instant death. You're you're never landing that on like any bosses with any <laughs> servant that has it. Not even her assassin form with a three hundred, the five hundred percent NP overcharge. Yeah. You're not landing that shit. I mean, like I I'd say, use her more for like farming. Than actually taking on bosses, but she has enough in HP to actually tank some boss hits, so there's that. Like, it's just, it's just weird. Shiki, Shiki really is just a jack of all trades, but she's practically a master of none. I mean, not even instant death. Yeah, not even instant death. I mean, she's good and very rare, by the way. Like, mm -hmm. ugh. So rare that if you didn't get her, you only get like one more chance from what I remember right now. I mean, there's always a chance in the guaranteed gotcha. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a low chance. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but, I mean, I think Yuna liked her because she looks like Yuna with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> I mean, what, what other reason would you like it? I mean, she has a nice kimono. I was gonna say, uh, that's, that's that the only reason anymore. you need, though. <laughs> that is the only reason you need. I'm sorry. Oh, my, my. It's not that she's not relevant. It's just... It, I, honestly, I personally have a really hard time to use her. <laughs> putting her in a team, because I'm like... I have a lot of other sabers that just are much better at the job she's trying to do. And if you're looking for instant death, assassins are essentially what you want to do. Like, either her assassin form or King Hassan. Yeah. First Hassan. I mean, yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> unless anyone has, unless anyone has anything they want to say, just like, let's, I guess, star rating. Nope, that's about it. Okay, star rating then. Um, four point five. Mommy, I want ice cream. The last one was more was more of a uh, favorite for me, so this one's four point five. Mommy. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a uh, 3.5. I like the design, but uh, I, like from what I remember, those type of kimonos are really not meant for fighting. <laughs> like it really limits your movement and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of productive. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll give her a three because she's pretty cool, but usefulness-wise, not not too much. There's just a lot of better sabers out there. Yeah gonna actually go with that I'm gonna go with the three it's like i kept saying like she can be used i just personally don't really find a use for her because 
yeah, I got way more sabers that could do his job a lot better. <laughs> I mean, she's a cool character. And her lore, like, if you can actually understand it, is pretty interesting. But besides that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, the uh, next else? one is... You wanna hmm. do something else? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So, Rama. Wow. What you said Rama or Mama? Rama. Oh, Rama. Yeah. R A M A. Yep. Yeah, not R A N M A. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Not, <laughs> not that animated series, okay? <laughs> Which, by the way, I, I actually made that mistake so much <laughs> when I first saw this character. Ah, because you're thinking of the red character, yeah. red version. <laughs> oh, yeah. Geez. So yeah, oh, good uh, job. Rama good job. is a four-star saver. They have a total attack of 9,854 and a total HP of 11,993. They have the balanced deck with quick, arts, arts, and buster. Two hits on quick, two hits on arts, one hit on buster, four hits on extra. Slight above average MP gain and pretty high star rate. Her, uh, their skills are Blessing and Martial Arts A, which increases their critical star gather rate for a turn and increases critical strength for one turn. Charisma B increases the attack of all allies for three turns. And Curse of Separation A, which applies gusts for one time for three turns and restores their HP. For passives, he has Magic Resistance A, Writing A+, and a Divinity A. His normal Phantasm is the Brahmastra, indestructible blade that pierces through Rakshas. Deals significant damage to a single enemy, and it also has a added bonus damage to demon demonic enemies. Yeah, it's Not dark. demon, demonic and enemies. The There's actually a, a difference. <laughs> and for the Bondcraft, they have the Indestructible Blade, which when it crit increases the critical strength of all allies by 25% while he's on the field. Uh, he's crit? <laughs> and he's never allowed to see his wife. Nope. Wow. Ever. 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 Ugh. Ever. Not even okay, after okay, death okay, and becoming okay, a servant. Okay, okay. Okay, you guys have made your point. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> that's essentially Rama's biggest war thing. Like, I, I don't know anything about this guy. War wise, <laughs> I don't even know where he's from. <laughs> Does he so, killed like some kind, kind of like monkey king or something, and got cursed, so he could never see his wife again. Kind of, yeah. And then in America, he got carried around eighty percent of the time like a baby. Oh. Oh, okay. He's an Indian. But he he actually got carried around in like some kind of baby saddle thing <laughs> by a nurse <laughs> all across America. And we're actually not kidding about that. Literally all across America. <laughs> wow. There, there, there was a reason behind it in the story, but pretty much we needed him to be at 100% so that he could help us face against uh, Ku Alter at the time, but yeah. But his organs were kind of disintegrating. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I, I mean, he has some really good passes. Like, they're probably the best passes we've seen for any character, but besides that, uh, he's just a Buster Crit Servant, and it's like... I'm sorry, but there's actually a servant way better for that in Sabres. <laughs> wow. A lot of them? Yeah. Like Soji? Yeah, like Soji, for example, because not, Soji not only does do crit damage a lot, but also could produce her own stars. Another one we're going to see in just a bit. It's like, And you can't really produce your own stars with only one quick card. Yeah, no matter how good your writing is. I mean, he's not bad. He also has a niche for being effective against demonic enemies, which, to be fair, not a lot of saber, not a lot of servants in general are. But then again, if you could just dish out the damage, that added bonus isn't really that much of a difference. <laughs> I Good mean, point. Good he's point. like, he's not bad. It's just, I don't know. 
<laughs> I mean, the best damage up you want against specific types of enemies is like servant, because that's those are the main those are the main hard enemies you're going up against. You want extra damage against. Yeah, and not a lot of servants have the demonic trait. Although I believe one of the recent, I think the most recent berserker server we got has it, which is a T-Rex. Oh, that that's a berserker. Goddamn. I thought it was an assassin, but not a berserker. I had no idea what the hell it was. I don't know. It turns into a sexy lady. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Fake <Fate>, everyone. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, you guys have any opinions, or should we just go straight to the stars? Like, I like the design, like, in this picture. I mean, yeah, he's a cool-looking character. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I really didn't like it that, like, you use fucking telekinesis to make a circle sword. It's a Beyblade, Why not okay? just, you know, cut it with it instead of, like, making, like, a fake seesaw? What are you, like, fucking Krillin? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's the best way to fucking <laughs> describe this guy. He's the Krillin yeah. of Sabres. That's got... I mean, he was needed. He wasn't dying like five times per season. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but I mean, the first time we met him, he was dying though. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, I guess we'll go in the stars then. You know. Um. Three point five because I love the outfit. Like I really love the outfit. <laughs> okay. I'll give it a treat because I like the design, but that's the thought. I'll give him a three because I just can't get over the getting carried around America <laughs> like a baby. <laughs> that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Oh, uh, the embarrassment. I'll give him a three because to me, he's, he really is just a, a, a very average servant. Like, if you got him, go ahead. He doesn't excel really well at much except for finding demonic, but... It's very rare when you're having trouble with demonic enemies. That's just all I'm gonna say. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, well, guys, this is gonna be the last saver of the game of the day. Oh, please be a good one and not uh, and not a bad note cool. like we did, Gills. Oh, he's pretty cool, actually. Uh, here's a hint: he's a part of the round table. It, okay, but uh, Gills was a bad end. <laughs> Here we go. Fuck yeah. I, I, I don't know why it makes a chainsaw so sound. It, it just does. Mm. Dude, that's how strong his Arondite practically is. Let's be real. It's a fucking chainsaw. His NP is nutty. So anyway, this is the Night of the Lake. The, uh, and considered the greatest night of the round table, Lancelot. <laughs> Saber version. There's also a four star Saber for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, Lancelot, he has a total attack of 9,949, with a max HP of 11,589. He has a balanced Buster deck with Quick Arts, Arts, Buster, Buster. His quick card hits twice, his arc card hits twice, and his buster card hits four times with an extra attack of five hits. Uh, his MP gain is above average with a pretty good uh, star weight. His skills are Knight of the Lake A, which increases his MP gauge, and he also gains a butt ton of crit stars. Eternal Mastery A plus increases his star gather rate. Knight of Owner A, which Gains uh, critical stars per turn and increases his critical strength. I think you guys can see what he's doing here. <laughs> he has passives of Magic Resistance B and Riding B. As Noel Phantasm is Arendite Overload, severing all bonds, the overloaded light of the lake. Increases his art card's effectiveness for a turn, deals significant damage to a single enemy, and applies damage received plus for five turns on the opponent. And his bond craft is Lady of the Lake, which, when equipped to Lancelot, increases his MP gain and critical strength for all allies by 10% while he's on his, while he's on the field. Uh, so he's yeah. fucking good. Yeah, remember when I said there was a crit servant that's way better than Rama? <laughs> uh, this is him. Do you like don't even need the crit with Lancelot? 
Yeah, just no, equip really. them with like a kaleidoscope, Night of the Lake, Arondite, they're done. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, um, the the effect, the last effect of Arondite Overload, which is damage received plus, not a lot of servants have that, which essentially is super defense down. And yeah, Lancelot does a lot of damage. Not to mention, he can actually Noble Phantasm. Uh, pretty effectively, since he's in an entire art space servant, and since he's crit, he's just gonna be sucking up crit stars and just critting a lot of hits. He's gonna be dealing damage, getting uh, an MP back really easily. He's and really since good. the MP <laughs> itself is art, you can do an arts brave chain and just pretty much have the MP back next turn. Yep. Like, yeah, it's very. Like, there's very little bad about Lancelot. Uh, I'd say pretty Except much the only... how he tried to sleep with... Or he did sleep with Guinevere. Well, I mean, that's going into his lore, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why Mash calls him a bad dad, so... I mean, wow. he kind of is a bad dad. Yeah, he, he really is, actually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um... I think the only big problem with Lancelot, though, is his skills. Because, like, if you're trying to use his crit skills, they have a very long cooldown rate. So, as soon as you pop them, you're pretty much either waiting for a bit in order to use it, or, you know, you are you have to mama on the side so that you can start <laughs> getting skill points back. He's kind of like Scotty in the sense, like, you have to get shit done quick. Otherwise, you're not going to last very long. Yeah. Really good That's boss right. when I When I... When I hear you yep. guys say Scotty, I think of our member. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Scotty, like, S-K-A-D-I. Yeah, not Scotty. 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 Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I guess his two problems were, are just, really are just his uh, high cooldown on his skills and his fatherly skills. But besides that, yeah, he's actually a really good servant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone's heard Lancelot. At least the name. And everyone yeah. uses the purple armor. Everyone always uses the Ascension 1. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't like this, uh, this version of the armor a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I guess I'm the minority here because, I don't know, I have a thing for capes that split into three. Which is one of the reasons why I like Ike. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Fine. I, I was just talking about like the front part of the armor. Yeah, it doesn't bother me that much. I like how like the purple armor and sword just like matches his purple hair and shit. Yeah. So it's just like all one color everywhere. <laughs> also, not to mention that he does follow his lore a lot because uh, during the Camelot chapter, he kind of just joined our side <laughs> pretty easily. I mean, it, it does take some convincing. <laughs> Yeah, but once he learned who Mash was, it didn't take that long. <laughs> well, I mean, we also convinced him how the King Arthur wasn't really doing the right thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Although, then again, that wasn't Arthur. That was more the guys from Rogmar in the odd, but... Um... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> I have to go there. We're going to get our ruler version next year. <laughs> okay, but we don't really need to go over the whole Camelot plot right now. Yeah, I know. The, the two movies are coming out soon, so if you want the Camelot uh, plot, just oh, look at Oh, two movies? Shit. Yeah, it's gonna be two movies. It's I'm, I'm a, ready for those. Yeah, instead of an entire season of an anime, it's gonna be two movies. But yeah. Uh, so, do you guys have any opinions on Lancelot? Lore? Character? Servant? Sword? Not a I, fan. I, Number I two dad. Like, <laughs> I didn't like the normal phantasm. I thought it was a, a bit clunky. You know? <laughs> For how simple it was, it was a bit funky. Okay. Alright, well I guess we're going with star ratings then. Y you know, that's what you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, forgot. I, I forgot for this one that I'm for. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not a fan. I'm not eh? a fan. So, two. Is that generosity? Okay. Wow. I'm gonna have to say 1.5. <laughs> I just don't, like I don't hate it, but I have nothing I really like about the character. 
I'll have to go with five. Because I actually Ooh. really like just him as a unit and just his whole backstory and the Camelot arc. Uh, yeah. Sam, I'm actually going to go with five. Wow. Uh, uh, he's, he's a really good servant. He's, like, really, really good. He's a really cool dude. Uh, yeah, he's a... Besides the dad part. He's a pretty cool dude. And honestly, I, I just love all the jokes where he's just trying to be a good dad, but Nash literally doesn't give him any chance. Or, or he's, like, trying to hit on a woman, and Nash is like, shut the fuck up! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, there was that event where him and, uh, the other two knights of the round table were, like, trying to peek into the woman's hot spring, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that happened. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, that was the serve Savers Part 2. What the hell was that? Like, three five stars? Uh, I think we did like three, three five stars. Like, three that we rated five stars? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they were good. Like, we're starting to get into the territory where servants are actually starting to be more unique and not, you know... <laughs> Ugh. Ending on a good note this time, at least. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, who is your favorite in this little bunch? Um, I am so bad with Japanese. What was her name? The one that everyone... Nero loved? Bright? Nero? Nero? Nero yeah, Bright. Nero Bright, there okay. Yeah. Yeah, Nero Bright. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I mean, yeah, she's cool, but... I don't have you her. her Lancelot? <laughs> but I don't have her myself. Uh, I do have Lancelot, though. And shit, Nero Bride was in America. Yeah, she was actually. That was that was really interesting, like seeing bridal Nero instead of normal Nero. Yeah, but then she went out like a. <laughs> she <laughs> she got fucked. <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna joke here. Uh, Okita Soji is actually my favorite from this batch. Who was that again? Uh, the know. immunocompromised chick. Oh. Her. <laughs> the police force. Yeah. The one who costs up blood. Yeah. That it, it's because of the blood, isn't it? Yes. She's a great. <laughs> that I, I, I do love her character, and not to mention her fucking altar forms coming up in like a week. <laughs> but that's um, that's that's Okita, not Okita altar. They're different. Look, Okita's is, altar got a way bigger sword. Look, first off, look, this is fate. Okay, <laughs> we don't know what's different, what exists, what doesn't exist, and what even is legal anymore. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was for me. Uh, so if we compare these two from part one and part two, do you guys have a favorite saber from those two? No, uh, no. <laughs> Especially not from part one. <laughs> okay. Part one was pretty. Eh? Part one was a lot of was a lot of free to play budget shit. Oh come on, guys! Part one had Caesar. D fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. Part one. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, if my calculations are correct, then good news, everyone. The next part's gonna be the last one for Sabres. Yay. Sweet. And then we'll move on to. Let's see, what's Lancers? That's nice. It's gonna be. Archers, actually. Archers. Yep. Going backwards in the triangle. <laughs> There's some good okay. archers, though. Oh, yeah. There's some really good archers, but we have to go through the last batch of sabers beforehand, and I am super excited for the next batch. <laughs> yeah, fuck, who do, who do we have left? God damn. Well, you're going to have to good do question. it next time to figure that out, so we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> uh, if you guys liked any uh, sabers from this batch, let us know. If you liked anyone from the last batch, let us know. If you think we're just full of shit and don't know what we're talking about, also let us know. So <laughs> until next time, bye. Later.